Hello to those of you joining us um, from our recording. Today we're going live with the Accessibility Resource Center and the Student Learning Center, which are two great offices on our campus. Um, hello to those of us, those of you who are joining us live. Um, today, again, we're talking about the Accessibility Resource Center and the Student Learning Center, which are two amazing offices. They have a range of student services that they offer. Um, and yeah, we're going live with them. We're gonna talk to some people in their office and answer all of your questions. Uh, so if you have any questions at all for these offices, feel free to put them in the chat. Um, and yeah, we will be, um, yeah, so we'll be answering those questions. I'll read them out to the people from those offices. Um, yeah, so before we get started, um, hi, my name is Wes. Um, I'm going to my fourth year. I'm a double major in French and international relations. And I am a North State Ambassador with the Office of Admissions. Um, great, so I am going to wait a couple minutes, see if a few more people join us, and then I'm going to add the um, ARC account and they're going to get started. And again, feel free to put in the chat any questions you have for the Accessibility Resource Center or the Student Learning Center. And these offices do work really closely with each other, so sometimes their services do overlap a little bit. Um, and so both accounts will be on here answering some questions in the chat. Um, so don't don't be surprised if you get an answer from the chat instead of live. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add the ARC. And again, we're going to start with the ARC, and the SLC will be joining us at one or three twenty. Hey, hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. All right. So, yeah. Hi. So. I'm gonna, we're gonna get started and we have a few questions for you today. Um, and first of all, if you wanna kind of introduce yourself, say who you are, what you do in your office, um, that sort of thing. All right, so my name is Holly Hunt and I'm the director of the Accessibility Resource Center. And um, are we, do you want me to tell what our office does or are we gonna, is that the next question? Yeah, that was <laughs> uh, my next question, but you can start with that if you'd like to. Okay, great. Um, so we provide services to, um, Students with Disabilities is our primary group of students, but we also work with um, faculty and staff. We help coordinate accommodations with faculty for our students. So any sort of um, medical condition that's posing a barrier to um, their, a person's education, we're gonna try to figure out a way to make that better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Awesome. So yeah, again, if you want to introduce yourself to kind of say who you are, what you do in your office, kind of what your position is. Okay. Did you just hear? Are you, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So um, again, Holly and I'm the director at Accessibility Resource Center. Awesome. Great. All right, so I'm not seeing um, any questions in the chat quite yet, so I'm gonna go ahead. I have a few questions prepared that I'm gonna ask you. Okay. Um, so um, who can use your services? What students can use your services? Um, well, hopefully, hopefully not everybody, but anybody who has a medical um, condition that needs some sort of academic accommodation. So um, a learning disability, a um, physical limitation, um, you know, diabetes, epilepsy, any sort of medical condition that mm -hmm. could be interfering with a person's education. Mm -hmm. And and then we also offer services to people who, you know, break themselves after winter break. So hopefully we won't see you, but if, if you do break something, then we can uh, probably provide services for you too. Yeah, for sure. Um, what are a few examples of some of the services that you provide? Okay, so we provide um, 
a testing accommodation. So usually a, a testing accommodation has to do with an extended time to take the exam and um, a distraction reduced environment. So by having students test in our office, it reduces the distraction and um, improves their ability to process information and, and, you know, show us what you know. We have about a thousand students registered with our office. Awesome. I, I think I, that flipped through there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Um, so when should students contact your office um, if they're interested in using your services? Um, really any time, you know, if, if you, you know, students sometimes see how it goes, you know, without accommodations, but they, then they find, wow, this really does seem to be interfering. Um, it, people with ADD lots of times are okay, like the first semester or the second semester, but then they get to the more um, difficult classes and at that time then do need some additional need the accommodations mm -hmm. so I usually recommend as soon as possible like in the summer before school starts so when school starts we're ready to go and there's no no delay it doesn't take long once we have medical information it once and an intake you know we can get you going the next day mm -hmm. awesome um, so what experience will students have using your services specifically this fall with the online format so this fall, we're still offering all the services. So um, students are still entitled to accommodations regardless of, you know, online or in person. Um, for online, we are trying to work with instructors to make sure students get the extended time that they are approved for. Um, in some cases, we've proctored the exam for our students so that we could make sure they got the extra time um, doing a, that via Zoom. Um, sometimes some of the proctoring sites like Proctorio are intimidating and not as effective for um, our students. So we'll, we'll proctor them ourselves. Um, and then students in person will be able to come to our office and and take their tests. So the in-person classes will be able to um, test in our office. Okay, great. Um, yeah, do you have anything new this year um, that's maybe a bit different than in previous years? Well, I know um, we're actually working with a, um, with academic advising and um, the STAR Center as kind of a, a group approach to a, a coaching program. So students that may need, um, some a, a coach mm -hmm. <laughs> so somebody to kind of guide them through planning and preparing for the semester and meet each week to maintain that progress and um so that that group um the three combined programs working together is a an expansion of our services and then um we actually have a new computer system so that is uh for all of our online um, requesting. So all of our accommodations are requested online. And so we, had, we just have a new system called ARC Go and we're kind of excited. It should improve our um, students' ability to ask more specifically, address their accommodations for their instructors. It should be easier for instructors to get their exams to us and approve accommodations. So hopefully it's gonna you know up our <laughs> up our accessibility <laughs> that's awesome yeah. yeah um great um so how how can students access the services that you offer how would someone go go through the process of, of use, using those services yeah great thank you for asking i should have started that like 20 minutes ago but anyway <laughs> so we have an an online um uh, on our web page so it's um accessibility resource center uh to get there the easiest way for me is to go to the home page and go to the quick links button in the top right and accessibility resource center is the first one. So that's the, I think the easiest way to get to our page. Mm -hmm. um, mainly because I can't type accessibility to save my life. <laughs> so um, when you get to our page, there's a um, 
a button, <laughs> a button um, to register for services. And what, and it's a quick application, basically, who are you and how do we get a hold of you? Mm -hmm. And then we'll have somebody um, reach out to the student and um, schedule an intake, which is a meeting with one of the advisors should take about an hour and um, talk about accommodations and just, you know, make sure everything is addressed and, you know, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Um, yeah, so is there, I'm not seeing any other questions in the chat. Again, for those of us who have joined, um, for those of you who joined, if you have any questions about the Accessibility Resource Center, please put them in the chat. We'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, for, but yeah, is there... Um, for incoming students, it usually, um, or parents, students that have had a um, 504 plan or an IEP in high school or transfer students that worked with DSPS, those are the students that would be eligible for our services. Okay. Um, yeah, great. Um, so is there any other aspect of the office you'd like to kind of explain or any, any other message you'd like to send out to anyone interested in what your office does? Yeah, another thing that is part of our office is the Office of Accessible Technology and Services. And that office works with technology. So um, different things that computers can do, um, scanning books so that your that it can be read by your computer. So you can, it'll, hang on. You can read it and the computer reads it at the same right. time. See it and hear it, it's, it's um, really improves retention. Um, so that's been, I use, <laughs> I use it often to <laughs> try yeah, that's, that's to, try an to awesome feature. repay the information. And that's actually available to all students. Okay. Um, through the through the university, but um, Oats can can help people get that squared away. Oats is also um, through the Keep Learning website. There's a you know ask ask us a question or ask about technology, and and Oats is um, I should have looked up how that actually what that actually looks like, and I apologize I didn't, but. Um, if you have questions about technology, there is a um, live, you know, I can't think of, I can't think of the <laughs> words right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you're, I'm, I'm sure it's so on your website. They have a, um, where you can access that, right? Yeah. Right. Or you can get to oats from our website, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so they, we work together to, to make sure the accommodations and see what might be needed from the technology side and then Oates would work with students to get that operational and put it put into place. That's awesome. So I do see a question in the chat. It says, how would you compare Chico's Accessibility Resource Center to other schools who might have similar programs? We're the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I went there. Um, no, um, I think I'm, of course, I might be biased, but I'm very proud of the work we're doing. I think, um, you know, we're really, we have a lot of experience um, in our office, a lot of people that have worked for different types of um, departments coming in, you know, um, working with people with disabilities. And so we're very creative, <laughs> you know, at trying to make sure and figure out ways to lessen the barrier, you know, whatever it is that's, um, maybe giving it giving some creating a barrier for students um i feel like my our team is really good at minimizing those barriers and um mm -hmm. i i really do think we're the best <laughs> yeah well your office is doing great work um i can i can i've definitely seen some of the effects of it it's, it's really great um another thing i've i've seen sometimes in classes students will get emails talking about note takers Yes. Um, is that through your office? Is that a service that you offer? You got, you cut out. Oh, yeah, sorry. so I didn't hear your question exactly, but I have a guess. So that's okay. So when a student um, needs a note taker to, um, from their class, they, so note takers are often used for, again, if um, processing sometimes you know, different, different, so many things can affect somebody's ability to process the information. And so trying to get that 
teacher that's talking a million miles an hour with no slides or, mm -hmm. or that sometimes it's difficult to get all that information right so we um ask for volunteers in the courses to share their notes with our students so our students would be taking their notes and then as a backup we would have um, a student volunteer to share their notes with our students um to you know to make sure that they have access to all of the information that was shared in class mm -hmm. yeah that's awesome that's a really cool service I, I know a lot of people utilize that so that's that's really great and if you want to volunteer as a note taker there's a there's a button for that on our website also where you can go in and register to be the note taker the one to share your notes oh that's awesome that's great yeah super great opportunity yeah great um, so it sounds to me like a lot of the services that your office provides are, are very specialized to, to the individual person that, that is utilizing them. Is that, would that be correct? Yes. So each, you know, it's just because you have a, dis, you know, this disability X and the next person has disability X mm -hmm. does not necessarily mean your accommodations are going right. to be. So the plans are all individualized. That's why we meet individually with each student to, um, review their documentation, review their needs, you know, talk about things that what has worked for you in the past and then figure out ways to replicate that here. So right. when students transition from high school to college, the really the laws change. <laughs> so mm -hmm. lots of, sometimes in high, in, you know, K-12, they may have received a service that, doesn't really work as well, honestly, in, in higher education, but you, I, there's very few things that we haven't been able to figure out how to accomplish um, if there's a need and if it, it makes sense. Um, the other thing that's important is that we don't know you're coming, so you need to reach out to our office and register for services, um, unlike, again, K-12 where your teachers always knew you were the, the students were coming to their class and that they were um, receiving accommodations that here it's all of the, the student has to reach out to us and then keep the instructors informed about their accommodations using our system so our system sends sends the letters you don't have to write it you'll just have to notify your instructor that these are your accommodations and um sorry train of thought just <laughs> but um so again it's it's important to register early um or as soon as possible and even though it's not a lengthy process unless we can't get documentation <laughs> that sometimes right. throws a little glitch but um we can still meet with you and talk about um, services that might be available and then talk about how we might get the documentation. So. Great. Great. Um, so is there a phone number that students can contact your office at or should they go through the website or is there an email maybe? Um, there is a, there's an email and um, that's, here. can I put, can I write comments on my own thing? I think um, so, yes. And then I can read it out loud as well so that those of us who join us in the recording can hear it as well. Okay, hang on. If I could type, it would really help. Yeah, for sure. It's it's A R C D E P T, which I can't seem to type. Um, mm -hmm. At um, CSU Chico. Dot edu. <clears throat> Great. So A R C D E P T at CSU Chico. Dot edu. Correct. Yes. Awesome. And so students can just email that, and then your office will be in touch with them after that. Correct. Yes, and then our our phone number, I'll give you that too, was 530-898-5959. And if we don't answer the phone right now, the um, we are the the phone messages are being um, sent to us, so we'll we'll get them um, right away and be able to respond, you know, as soon as possible. But for the mo for the most part we're able to answer the phone calls throughout the day and um, we've been able to schedule appointments, 
that way, answer questions through the email or the phone. So mm -hmm. whatever's whatever's the best. Awesome. For you. Great. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much. So it is now 320. So um, the Student Learning Center okay. is up next. But thank you so much for speaking to us. Is there anything else you'd like to say to incoming students about the ARC? Um, come see us. Even if you have questions about, you know, or you just want to come in and say hi, I don't care. Come check us out. We're in the Student Services Center 170 when we all get to see each other. <laughs> and um, yeah, anything we can do, that's what we're there for. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks so much. Your office is doing great work, and thank you for speaking with us today. No problem. Right. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. All right, so I'm also gonna add the Student Learning Center. They also offer a range of different student services, um, including things like tutoring, and they're really about academic success. So I'm gonna add them to the live now. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to just put them in the chat below and we will answer them for you. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, thank you. Great. So do you want to introduce yourself, maybe start off with that, and then talk a little bit about what your office does? Absolutely. So hello and happy afternoon, everyone. My name is Dawn Frank, and I am the director of the Student Learning Center at Chico State University. And I have the pleasure of running a program that offers tutoring services to students on campus, as well as phenomenal writing center. We also run a supplemental instruction program that I talk more about. We offer study skills workshops for students and a math learning lab in addition to other things. Awesome. Great. Yeah. So um, yeah, I guess if you want to kind of delve in, what are the specific services that your office kind of offers to students? Fantastic. So I think one of um, our most utilized services are tutoring for some of our most rigorous classes on campus. So for those lower division general education courses that we want to make sure that everyone is very successful in. We offer subject tutoring for those. So we have some phenomenal student tutors who have all taken the class that you will come to tutoring for and they've been very successful in that class and selected by their professors to now come back and tutor for it. So students can go onto our website and sign up for weekly tutoring appointments with the same tutor every week. And these are small group tutoring sessions of about four to five students that will meet every week at the same day and same time. Um, and you hold, as soon as you sign up for that spot, you get to keep that spot for the remainder of the semester. And you can come in and sign in at any time for that. We also offer what I referenced, what's called supplemental instruction, or you'll hear us call SI. So SI are for those big classes, um, a lot of science classes, chemistry, anatomy, physics, even some math classes that we know a lot of our students who are trying to get into nursing, engineering, some of those biochemical um, professions out there, they want that extra support. So SI is awesome because you don't have to sign up. The SI leader will be embedded in your course and they will let you know that they'll have three times you can meet with them throughout the week as a group. And you'll come in in a group session. We'll help you review material from class that week. This SI leader is also a student who's working every week with your professor to make sure they can reinforce the material for you. So another one of our services is our writing center. So one of the things we always say is every reader needs a writer. And so at our writing center, there's multiple ways to get support. You can come in as a drop-in meeting same day. You can schedule an appointment in advance to meet with a writing tutor, or if you've got an incredibly busy schedule, you can simply submit your writing sample online and we will have the writing tutors give you feedback in the margins and return your sample to you. And then finally, we have our study skills workshops. So we run a variety of workshops every week that focus from anything from time management to how to write a successful essay, how to take notes, 
different things like that. So we have a series of study skills workshops every week too that students can log in and attend as well. Great. Yeah. Pretty much all the services, yeah. It's a lot, I know, but yeah. uh, again, and I'll put into the chat box as well, the, mm -hmm. our website so that students can access, um, take a look at the list of services that we offer there too, and we're updating it all the time as we get closer to classes. Yeah, for sure. I can say from personal experience, very, very helpful, lots of really useful stuff um, with the SLC. I had a Fr uh, upper division French class that was pretty challenging, and the tutor for that class was super helpful. So. Highly recommend taking advantage of your services for sure. Nice, yes, yeah. definitely. We tend to see that the majority of students who come in and utilize our services, even in this virtual world, especially, we notice that they tend to do better in their classes than some students who don't use our services. So we definitely say, don't believe the myth that you only need tutoring if you're struggling. This is about having like a personal trainer for your class for sure. and they're there to help you, you know, make sure that you have a strong start. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so um, our next question for you is who can use your services? Great question. So any enrolled student at Chico State can use our services. Um, so as long as you're enrolled in even a single class at Chico State, you can use our services. So they're not for the community. They're not for alumni. They're just for our Wildcats. Um, and so again, the list of the classes that we support are going to be on our website for tutoring. That'll be listed under our subject tutoring link. SI has those classes listed. And the wonderful and brilliant thing about our writing center is that they support all of the classes on campus in addition to your own personal writing. So if you're someone out there who's trying to, you know, flex at writing a blog or flex at, you know, getting your social media game on and you want someone to look at your writing sample, perhaps you're ready to launch. Um, and do some applications for internships or scholarships, and you want us to look at those essays, we're happy to give you support on your personal writing samples as well. Awesome, that's great. Um, so when should students contact your office to get in, or to use your services? Great question. So we are going to open up um, for students signing up to use our services by the end of the first week of classes. So that's fast approaching. Um, we realize that. So um, we'll open up for tutoring signups on Friday, August 28th. So that link will be on our website with information on how to sign up for your classes. And all of our services will start on Monday, August 31st. Okay, great. And so there is a deadline to, um, to use your services or can you enroll at any time? You can enroll at any time. So we just encourage people to sign up early and to visit us often. Um, some of the classes that are those, you know, the rigorous classes, like, like I said, anatomy, microbiology, physics, a lot of those classes for our tutoring sessions, those can fill up um, pretty early. But we always run a wait list and we always are checking that wait list every day to try and get students in when an opening comes up. And like I said, for math, we have drop-ins every day. And for writing, we have drop-ins. And so again, if you can't get in for a weekly subject tutoring appointment, if it's for math or if it's for writing, we can support you for drop-ins as well. And you can come in at any time of the semester and sign up for a service. Um, so you, you know, if a few weeks go by, it's not a missed opportunity. Just check out our website and contact us and we'll take care of you. For sure. Great. Um, so what experience specifically will students have this fall in the virtual environment? We're hoping that you're going to have a phenomenal experience. I mean, the great thing about being virtual is now we're not as limited in our physical space, right? And so you can come online and most of our services will be delivered via Zoom. And I think most students are going to get very comfortable with the Zoom platform because sure. that's going to be engaging in their classes. So you're going to log into a Zoom session and you will have a subject tutor there. And that you'll also see that you probably have two to three other students who are there with you. And that subject tutor is going to be trained on how to use mobile and digital whiteboards to be able to share with you um, some sample problems or excerpts from your class. Um, they'll engage you perhaps through Google Docs or spreadsheets for you also to flex and to show your work. 
Um, so they'll walk you through that process because um, we all know that this is going to be a long curve technology wise. Um, but for the most part, our services will be delivered through Zoom. And again, um, for those whose schedules might not allow for them to come into that session, if it's writing, they can submit that writing sample to us online and we will give them that feedback in the margins and return it to them. Great. Um, let's see, my last question that I have for you is, is there anything new this year in your office? Anything new this year? Well, you know, I think a lot of this feels very new because yeah. it's virtual. Um, but, you know, for students who've utilized our services before, again, this is going to feel a bit new because we're online and we're not in person with them. But again, we're still pushing strong with our weekly subject tutoring appointments and with our um, drop-in services. What may be new is how students get scheduled. So in the past, you needed to come physically into our office and meet with us to sign up for sessions. But now we've removed that barrier, obviously. So we're going to try and make registering for your tutoring sessions much easier. So if are any of my returners out there, um, there won't ever, shouldn't be too much anyway, waiting in a line to get in to sign up for our services. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, so is there anything you would kind of like to give advice wise for any incoming students um, about using your office? You know, as I mentioned before, again, we just really encourage you to start off strong. So one of the things if you're a new student coming to us at Chico State is that you rock, you've done the hard work of being admitted to this university. And so we know you're ready to be here. But the reality is, is that college very different from high school. And so we just want to encourage you to use all of the tools in your toolbox. And we are definitely, you know, part of that resource. And so um, a piece of advice that I would have to some of those new students coming in is if you visit our website and you see that we offer tutoring for your class, we offer tutoring for a reason, right? We know that students come in and request it because it's hard work. So what I encourage students to do is to sign up for tutoring right before you even know you might need it. And then as you progress through the semester for a few weeks, if you feel strong and don't feel like you need that additional support, then you can go ahead and cancel your tutoring sessions at any time. There's no, you know, hurt in that. And you can come back and see us if you need support later. But I always say, go ahead and get tutoring in your schedule. And then if you feel like you're thriving, then you can drop from the tutoring sessions, but it's better to start strong than to wait and to come in and get support later when you feel like you're playing catch. But the one thing we want you to know is we are happy to welcome you with open arms at any time. So it's never too late, but it's certainly also never too early. For sure, great advice. Thank you so much. So um, the only other thing is how, how can we contact your office? You're how can new students contact? <laughs> and I can do that again for you. You can also email us, um, which is probably one of the quicker ways because we have someone looking at our email all day, every day to reply to questions that folks may have. Just like mm -hmm. Holly as well, you can give us a call. Um, frankly, it's just gonna forward it to my email or my staff's email for us to return to you. So the fastest way is to visit our, uh, our website and it has the majority of the answers to the questions folks have. And if it's not there, then please email us and we will email you back uh, with an answer for you. Awesome, great. Well, um, yeah, is there anything else you'd like to say um, before we head out? I would just like to say welcome to the Wildcat family for our new incoming freshmen and for any of our returners. We're excited to have you back with us. This is a new world living in the virtual environment, but we always know that the Chico State experience is the best experience. Um, so we are here to help support your learning and your academic success. And I also encourage you, even if you feel like, hey, I'm a really strong student, I don't need that tutoring, come in anyway because your tutor can always recommend you for a job in the future, because I often have found that I recruit some of my strongest tutors and SI leaders from folks who've used our services. So just encourage you to come in because it may land you a job in the future working with us. Awesome. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. You are very welcome. Have a great day and um, see you all. Cats.
All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. Great. Well, I'd like to thank the SLC and the ARC one more time for joining us. That was super informative. Um, for all of you watching, if you have any more questions, feel free to DM, DM us on Instagram. You can also contact us at info at csuchico.edu. And you can always call our office. And we are happy to direct you towards any resources you might need. And our office number is 530-898-6322. And you can feel free to contact us there. All right, thanks so much for joining us. And we will be going live with many other student uh, support services from across campus later this week and in the coming weeks. Um, so make sure to check out our Instagram. We'll be putting more information on that on our Instagram. All right, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.